इन्फ्लुएंस मॉडलिंग इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल कंसिडर लिनियर थ्रिस होल्ड मॉडल इंडिपेंडेंट कैशकेट मॉडल एंड इन्फ्लुएंस मैक्सिमाइजेशन इन्फ्लुएंस मॉडलिंग इन्फ्लुएंस मॉडलिंग इज ए फंडामेंटल एरिया रिलेटेड टू द स्टडी ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेशन डिफ्यूजन स्प्रेड ऑफ न्यू आइडियाज इन्फ्लुएंस मैक्सिमाइजेशन एंड वर्क ऑफ वर्ड ऑफ माउथ मार्केटिंग लाइक वायरल मार्केटिंग सोशल नेटवर्क फॉर एग्जाम्पल सपोज वी रिप्रजेंट द इंटायर सिस्टम थ्रू सम सोशल ग्राफ then influence modeling means uh, suppose this node get activated and uh, then what uh, kind of strategy we can apply to spread this idea to entire network or to reach the maximum number of nodes with uh, minimum benefit sorry with uh, minimum effort or minimum cost the this is the main goal of uh, entire influence modeling schemes generally we represent the social network as a graph where uh, node of graph represents uh, some organization institution product person etc and age represents the relationship between them actually social graph represents the relationship between person organization organization and person or uh, similar kind of uh, relations so in influence modeling each node starts with some initial active state for example we start uh, our marketing with uh, in this network in this uh, people network or social network then uh, according to the rule of uh, rule of influence modeling a node once activated will activate it its neighboring nodes for example this can activate this or this node if uh, this node get activated then it can activate uh, this this or this node this nodes and so on the important point is once node activated this node cannot be deactivated now some well known techniques for influence modeling is linear threshold model and independent cascade model linear threshold model an actor would take an action if uh, number of his friends who have taken the action exceeds or reaches a certain threshold means uh, suppose this is a graph then this node will activate any of this these neighboring nodes if we have some cert if we maintain or if it achieves some threshold to influence its neighbor uh, neighbors and uh, the interval lies between 0 and 1 now the next is in each discrete step all nodes that were active in the previous step remain active means uh, after getting activated we consider this activated in the entire period now 
the node satisfying the following conditions will be activated for example this is a threshold condition and uh, this represents that w is active and b represents the node and uh, b represents the entire condition means uh, suppose it represents some probability like uh, 0.5 and uh, suppose node this node 1 2 it requires some probability like 0 0.5 as a threshold to be activated and if we provide uh, such level of activation then this node will be activated and once this node activated it will activate the other of its adjacent neighboring nodes here the threshold may be probability or uh, number of uh, neighbors which are already activated for example this will clear from the following exam this example here uh, inactive nodes uh, initially represented by blank uh, circle active nodes are represented as a green circle thresholds represented as blue and active neighbors represented as a red bar. Now, these are the thresholds. Means uh, here less thresholds require, more thresholds require, level of thresholds are higher, level of thresholds are less. So, suppose in a st at a starting, this node get activated, then it will try to activate both of its, uh, its neighbor like uh, u and w these are the active neighbors now here the less thresholds are required so it activated node w at next step it can reach both nodes can reach uh, at u and uh, x at the next step it is reachable by two different nodes and uh, there are more number of active neighbors for node u with respect to node x so better chance means uh, chance of node u is better to get activated by node w and v now the at next step the target is node x and this node here uh, number of active neighbors like node u and node w two active neighbors are uh, there for node x while uh, for this node there are only one there is only one active neighbor so chances of getting activated getting activated by get chances of this node is very high of getting activated now as uh, number of uh, we cannot reach this node and uh, we stop from here Now the ne in next example linear threshold model in this example there are total 11 nodes the node activation steps are given as here node activation node activation steps are uh, means uh, node activation depends upon the number of neighbors got activated so let us start with uh, node 10 and uh, node 10 and node 11 initially node 10 and 11 got activated now it can active uh, node 10's uh, nearest neighbor 
flavors are node 9 and node 3 and node 11 but uh, node 3 has uh, more number of nearest neighbor which are activated so there are so at the next step node 3 get activated after node getting activated by node 3 now node 9 has uh, more number of neighbors already activated so at the next step node 9 will node 9 get activated now after getting activated now the nearest uh, non activated neighbors of uh, node 9 is 4 node 4 similarly for this node 4 and uh, for uh, activated node of node 3 node 2 and node 1 so chances of uh, getting activated its chances of getting activated are higher with respect to these nodes so at next step node 4 will be activated now the question is determine the entire influence spreading sequence Is it possible to influence node 5, 6, 7 or 8? It is possible if we reduce the threshold like uh, suppose uh, one node is activated then it can activate its nearest neighbor. Here we activated node 3 if we have two activated neighbors if we reduce this threshold by only one activated neighbor then it is possible to spread the activation in entire graph now the next step is uh, next technique is independent cascade model the independent cascade model focus on senders rather than reviewers view cascade models are how we decide whether people are influenced given a graph g an integer k and a cascade model it will output a seed set that would maximize the influence also called influence spread formal way of uh, independent cascade model can be given as a node w once activated at a step t has one chance to activate each of its neighbors randomly for a neighbor node say b the activation exceeds uh, sorry activation succeeds with a probability pwb for example this will clear from a simple example suppose we have a node 1 node 2 node 3 node 4 node 5 now node 1 get activated and uh, if it activates the node 2 with probability 0.5 it activates the node 4 with probability it has a capacity to activate node 4 with probability just uh, 0.2 then at first chance 
at uh, first attempt the chances of getting activated by node 2 will be higher than node 4 if the activation succeeds then he will become active at step t plus 1 suppose at step t the node 1 is activated and step 2 a step t plus 1 node 2 got active get activated then uh, similarly it can spread the activation suppose it activates node 3 at time t plus 2 at the same time node 2 also activate uh, node 5 so with respect to time we can count the spread of activation in a subsequent round w will not attempt to activate v anymore means uh, once get activated we will consider such node activated in the entire duration the diffusion process starts with an initial activation set of nodes then continues until no further activation is possible suppose we use some probability or uh, Actually, independent cascade model uses some uh, random probabilistic attempt. So, due to random probabilistic attempt, suppose at first attempt node 2 get activated, but uh, it fails to activate node 4. At second attempt, at t plus 1, node 2 tries to activate node 5 and 3. And successfully activated and uh, every time it uh, tries once to activate their nearest or adjacent nearest neighbors non-activated neighbors for example uh, this will clear from this uh, statement in subsequent round W will not attempt to activate V anymore now it is important to note that probability P is the propagation probability. If a vertex has L neighbors in the seed set and uh, then it has 1 minus 1 minus P to the power L chance of being included in the next round. This will clear from this example. Here blank circle represents the active inactive node, dark green circle represents active node, light green circle represents uh, newly active node, green arrow successful attempt and uh, red arrow unsuccessful attempt. Suppose uh, initially we activate node B, then it will try to activate node u and node w we find that uh, attempt uh, to activate node u is unsuccessful while uh, activating node w is successful so next step node w will try to activate node u and node x both got activated at next step it again tries to activate this node but uh, fails and uh, there is 
there are no outgoing edges so it is not possible to continue this activation so we stop now this is a simple exercise based example in this graph there are total 11 nodes initially the node nodes 10 and 11 are activated and uh, it activates the node 3 here uh, activation thresholds uh, suppose uh, it represents some activation probability like uh, 0 0.5 0 0.2 0 0.3 then at the next step suppose it satisfies the or uh, hit success then node 10 and 11 will activate node 3 then at next step what are the possibilities of getting accepted sorry got getting activated by node 1 and node 2 and node 9 at the next step node 3 will try to activate node 2 node uh, 10 will try to activate node 9 node 3 will try to activate node 9 so it is possible that uh, both node 2 or node 9 gets activated or only node 9 get activated depends upon the thresholds if we assume the threshold 50 percent then for node 9 it is a better chance to get activated similarly we can proceed with the entire network until the activation thresholds fails now the next term is influence maximization influence maximization is very useful for uh, the person who starts uh, some social networking based advertisements or uh, new evolving businessmen, new company, new product because they try to target huge amount, huge, vo huge volume Sorry, they try to reach uh, more number of people through less effort so that uh, they can uh, get a better market or better position. So influence uh, study of influence maximization is very important. Given a network and a parameter k, which k node should be selected to be the activation set B in order to maximize the influence of active node at the end? means uh, influence maximization can be questions like uh, which k node should be selected to be in the activation set B in order to maximize the influence in terms of active nodes at the end let uh, sigma B denote the expected number of nodes that can be influenced by B the optimization problem can be formulated as where B is a subset of B maximize the sigma B such that B means uh, number of nodes in the activation set B 
and k is the number of nodes that should be selected here number of nodes that should be selected should always be less than or equal to number of nodes in the activation state and we want to maximize the expected number of nodes that can be influenced by number of nodes in the activation set B. The maximizing, maximizing the influence is NP hard problem but it is proved that greedy approach gives a solution that is 63% of the optimal. We can uh, give a simple pseudo code for uh, influence maximization, greedy approach. Now let us uh, start with an empty set. A set contains, uh, from here it is clear, activation set. activation and empty activation set now we will wait our algorithm to maximize the number of influence for each node and pick the node with maximum sigma as the first node v1 to form bv1 first of all suppose this is a graph Here the main aim is to pick the node which can maximize the number of activation set. For example, suppose we pick uh, node 2, then it can activate node 5, 6, 4 and 1. Now select the node which will increase sigma b most if the node is included in B. Now suppose this node is in these nodes are after uh, suppose we include node 2 this will include the node 2, 4, 6, 5 in the set B. Now select a node which will increase the sigma B most if the node B is included in B. Now to increase the node sigma b we will select which node can uh, increase the number of activation and uh, we will continue until some stopping criteria are met note that the greedy algorithm finds a node v member of node of graph or v may be member of set b such that v is equal to maximize the number of node in this set activation state so that people can reach the maximum number of uh, people or uh, people with some product can advertise their about their product to maximum number of people and uh, can reach maximum number of people this is the main goal of uh, the entire uh, scheme thanks